Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Chris here, I just Um At pack number 25 here for you guys, and everything looks orange. But anyway, uh, I got a lot of fun applications in this at pack. Some of my favorite applications included. Um, but before I go ahead and get into it even more, I want to give a quick shout out to Tyson Talks uh, over here on YouTube. He has some really cool unboxings, reviews, giveaways, and more. Oh, colors back, woo. Um, so definitely go ahead and check out Tyson Talks. His link will be over there in the video. Description. Uh, subscribe if you like what he's doing. Definitely go ahead and check out his videos. Give him a chance. And um, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and uh, let's let's get straight on into it this way this time. All right, guys. So what's up? Like I said, I got at pack number twenty-five here for you guys. Go ahead and remove the crabble. Um, really three fun and entertaining applications included in this app pack for you guys. Uh, so definitely stay tuned. I think you guys will be definitely interested in this app pack. Uh, all of these three applications are very new to the app store and they are rising up into the top downloaded. So this is definitely going to be, these are definitely going to be some applications, excuse me, that you guys are definitely going to be interested in, I think. Uh, the first one I have here for you guys is Mini Gore. Uh, it's a really fun, really addicting um, mini application. Uh, this application is for sale in the App Store for 99 cents. So it's actually a really good game for the price. Okay, we go ahead and zoom in. Uh, when you're greeted with play, options, credits, online, and Haskoa. Um, we're going to go first go into options. Uh, you can choose here to have your iPod library on or off, your music playing. You can choose go into here and have make a little playlist for that. Or you can have the soundtrack of the application. It's up to you. Uh, you can have the music on or off, different options like that. Expert mode, you can have all that. Sound effects, uh, show the little pads on the bottom. Everything is totally up to you to go ahead and turn the soundtrack back on. I like that better than having the music playing. Uh, you can have the voice, you can have the flip screen if you want to play it the other way. For some reason you want to play it this way, up to you. That's why they put that in there. Um, tell a friend, send an email, or something like that. It's up to you. You don't really have to do that. Okay. Uh, next we'll go into credits. It'll tell you just who it's created by, yada, yada, yada. All that uh, stuff that nobody really reads. And then you can go into online or high score. Uh, online will bring you to the, into the uh, Fiend and all that stuff that they have there where you can go into little chat rooms and everything. But I'll just not go into that. Uh, you're then in high scores. Obviously, you have high scores. See if that'll focus. Um, there's my high score so far, 1,588. Let me know what your guys' high score is. If you've played this application, write down there in the comment or video response. Let me know what your high score is for Mini Goer. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead into play. Um, you are then shown how to play. Uh, you have the blue knob right here that moves your little guy around. It's kind of like that joystick like you've seen in some other games like Assassin's Creed. Move around the blue joystick to move and move around the red joystick to fire your weapon. So we're gonna zoom in a little bit more. So now, you're just going to be chilling around, you have your little cube square dude, you're just going to be chilling, and then all of a sudden, you get all these little, like, black furry monsters that come at you, and the whole point is that you want to shoot them before they can kill you. You guys already saw one just hit me right there, and when they hit you, your guy actually becomes wounded, and little wounds show on his face, he starts, like, bleeding a little bit, he gets bandages on his face, it's actually really cool. And when you see little boxes like that, you can pick them up, and you'll get different weapons. Like, you guys see, I got a shotgun right there, so that really helps, and, oh, Already, just like that, my guy's down, he's dead. You guys see that little clover thing right there? If you go ahead and pick that up, you will get it'll put it up here, and when you get three, um, you can then advance and get more items. Um, but, see if we can try to last a little bit longer. So you guys can see that this application is actually pretty hard if you don't um, stay tuned into the app and pay attention to what you're doing, because the second time that you get hit, you're pretty much going to get taken down, and then you're pretty much done for. Um, so you want to try to avoid getting touched or getting eaten by those um, monsters, I guess you guys would say that's what they are. And you guys will also see that they're like that little crate that I picked up before that has a weapon in it. Make sure you don't shoot it or else it can disappear. Sometimes those crates will have uh, different things in it that will upgrade your person and he'll just become like a, a beast, like literally a beast. And then he'll just run around and just whatever he touches like explodes. That's actually really fun when you're in that little mode. Um, Definitely something that gives up that gives this application um, much better replay value. That they went ahead and just threw that in there. That you can just turn just into a crazy little thing and just run around all you want. You don't have to worry about firing or killing them. You don't have to worry about touching them. You can just automatically like, incinerate your enemies. Um, 
So you guys can see this application. See if we can just pause for a second and alright. There's pause up here if you want to pause and then you can choose all your different options. But this application will go on for a long time because it actually does take a while to collect all four of those little or three of those, excuse me, all three of those little clovers without dying. And we got a shock on that time. Ah um I was trying to see if I can get past it, but it's actually, I haven't not, like, I've played this a lot so far, and I have not been able to get past it. That big one takes forever to kill. You guys can see, once you get one of the big ones, they turn into a bunch of little ones, and then it gets harder and harder. So that's what's also cool about this application, is that there's not just one enemy, there's all different sizes of enemies that you have to go through and defeat. Go ahead and start shooting them. Oh, there's the last one. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, there we go. Your guy catching on fire when he gets the one that's on. You guys can see him just run around like that. Whatever he touches. Boom, just incinerates. Ah, then he went back down. So, it's actually really cool. You guys to see when you get all three of them. Um, this application really can go on for a really long time. It's just pretty much survival. How long can you survive in this application? So, that's what pretty much mini gore is all about. Alright, very fun. You guys can see that you can, it can be very addicting. It can add some really great replay value going back and try to beat your high score. Okay, the next application I have here for you guys is a classic. It's 20Q Mind Reader. You guys know that little orb that they show in the commercials, um, that little red ball that somehow reads your mind. It gives you a bunch of questions to go through. Um, you pick a certain object, person, or noun, or anything, something, and it can figure out what it is simply by asking you 20 random questions. That's what is now has been ported to the iPhone and iPod Touch in the App Store uh, in its virtual mode. So... This application, you have the classic 20Q, you have bonus features, which have different uh, different smaller game modes, uh, you have statistics, which will tell you how many times that brain has won, and how many times uh, your longest streak is in other at games, and favorite category, and all that jazz. You can go into settings, here you can just change the music volume, that's it. You can reset it if you wish to. And how to play, which is actually pretty simple, all you really have to do is answer questions. Um, you can get more games, but we're not going to go into that. So we're just going to go into classic 20Q. Uh, it'll say initializing game, it'll start everything, and it'll have to get it set up. I'm going to see if I can really go through all the questions here for you guys. Alright, uh, without making this video too long. It says, is it an animal, vegetable, mineral, other, or unknown? So, let's see, let's go ahead and choose animal. Um, let's choose uh, a walrus. Is it furry? Then you're greeted with, yes, no, probably, doubtful, irrelevant, unknown. Um, you don't have to put in your answer anywhere, so there's actually no way it can know right now that I just said walrus. So we're just going to click, uh, no, it's not furry. Because walrus aren't. Does it have feet? Uh, no, I probably shouldn't click that, but whatever. Question four, can it, can it climb? Probably. I don't know, can walrus just climb? Is it green? Uh, doubtful. Is it black? Uh, probably. I don't know. Uh, can it jump? <laughs> uh, doubtful. <laughs> Walruses are pretty large. Does it have wings? Probably. I don't know. Flippers, wings, whatever you guys really want to call them. Um, does it make noise? Yep. Is it larger than a bread box or microwave oven? Yeah. Does it bring joy to people? Doubtful. Is it dangerous? Yeah. Oh, sorry if you guys weren't able to see those questions before. Um, we're on question 13. Is it intelligent? Uh, unknown. See, if you don't, another cool thing about this is if you really don't know it, you can click unknown and it'll ask you a separate question. Could it be cold blooded? See, something like that? I don't know. I probably should, but I don't. Uh, is it colorful? Doubtful. They're usually like a brown or like a ugh, color. But uh, is it bigger than a sofa? Yeah. Is it alive? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you seen one in real life? Yeah, in a zoo. Why not? Does it have paws? Does Wallers have paws? I'm just gonna go ahead and click unknown. I wouldn't, I don't know. Is it a carnivore? Uh, yeah, definitely. Does it live in water? Yes. Is it warm blooded? I don't know. We're on 19. Is it warm? I don't know. Is Wallers warm, guys? Leave in a comment. I don't know. Is Wallers warm? Can you smell it? I don't know. I don't know. Is it a mammal? See, questions like these, you, I think I should know, but. I don't. Is it soft? Yeah, walruses are soft. <laughs> I'm assuming. Mind scan complete. Time for me to reveal your secret thoughts. Tap to continue. Is it a bear? Owned. Owned. We beat 20Q. We beat 20Q. No. No, it's not a bear. Get owned. So you guys can see, if you did, if it doesn't guess it right, 
it will uh, list you some more questions. It'll list, I think, like five more questions. Um, let's just see, let's give it another chance. Would you touch it with a 10 foot pole? Yeah. <laughs> let's see, can you lift it? No. I guess, how the heck does it know that? How does it know that? Wallers, it freaking knows, I guess it's a Wallers. How does it know it's a Wallers, guys? If you guys know how this works, please leave me a comment or very response down below. How the heck does it know that? It didn't answer anything that was even like almost near a Wallers. How does it know that? Guys, help me out. Um, that's what is so cool about this application. You guys really need to go and check this out. 20Q Mind Reader. Uh, it's um, for sale in the App Store for $2.99. It's crazy, guys. Last app I have here for you guys is Motocross Mayhem. Definitely a fun game that I play on the computer all the time. Have played in the past. That definitely reminds me of uh, all motorbike games on the computer where you have to tilt or press side to side to get it to go. I'm just going to go straight into play with this application um, just so to save us some time. Oh, and it crashed. App fail, app fail, app fail. Um, give it a second to load again. Because apparently it likes to fail. So we're just going to go ahead and go back. Um, okay, play. We're just going to go straight into it. And now, once you're greeted, if you didn't beat any of the stages yet, like I haven't, you're just going to have stage one open. So just go ahead and click play. And now, it tells you right here what you got to do. You got to lean forward by tilting your iPod forward and lean back by tilting your iPod back. And on the left side of the screen, you have your brake, and on the right side, you have your throttle. While we're still in this little menu right down here, you have your health down there and pause. So let's go ahead and see how far we can get. So you want to try to get to the end of the level with this application without breaking your guys back, kind of like that. So let's go ahead and see if we can get at least over this first hill. So you do have to tilt it. Actually, let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. You do have to tilt it sometimes so it doesn't, uh, so he doesn't land on his back or something like that. You can take it really slow down hills, but then it kind of ruins the fun. See, sometimes if you deal with too much, you'll do a total backflip like that, and you'll pretty much just destroy him, and then for some reason, he likes to roll down the hill. Uh, don't know why. I personally would not roll down the hill. I would probably stop. But, you know, that's this little guy's choice. But, um, you guys can see, you do have to control it. This is all about you controlling your little guy. Your His life is in your... ah, uh, ah, uh, Roll... Real, yeah, thought so. His life is in your hands, guys. Um, this, I don't know if you guys played, have you guys played an app like this on the computer? I know I have, where you have to um, press different keyboard buttons and move your mouse to try to get your guy to stay on the bike. Um, yeah, I epically failed at this application right now. But if you go on, the, ep the levels do get harder, the stages do get harder. Um, I have played more than just this, but not on this iPod. Um, you failed to finish. Even it knows I failed. Wow. My iPod, for some reason, is totally reading my mind today. But um, that's really all this application is. I wanted to cut that app a little bit short. Um, the options are very simple in that application as well, because uh, I wanted to keep this video a little bit short. But three applications, you guys should really go ahead and check out all of these. I think you guys should go ahead and pick up, by the way, Motocross Mayhem, 99 cents. Thanks for watching, guys. Favorite, comment, rate, subscribe. Definitely make sure to check out, uh, what was the name? Ty excuse me, guys, Tyson Talks. And all the links you guys need in the video description that way only. Um, so I will catch you guys. In the next video, favorite, comment, rate, subscribe once again, and I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.